what's cool is that we took the joists um, that we used when we were renovating it and we made these tops out of it. So the tops bring it back to its original, original house. But pretty cool, kind of a spot for all the liquor. It took three weeks to get the majority of it done. And then because of the holidays, we waited a little bit. We had all these kitchen cabinets that are 10 years old. We had them refinished completely with an updated color to match what was going on here. Um, our good friend, Amy Lynn Interiors, she designed the coffee station. She, de she designed the dry bar area. We picked these colors out. So we repainted the original cabinets to go with the new design. And my carpenter Caesar here is installing new hardware. It took about two and a half weeks to repaint everything. We took all the drawers and doors out to our shop, repainted them, brought them back in. Today's our last day, we're out of here. So working with Amy was awesome on this project. So Amy wanted to bring contrast to the white cabinets in the kitchen. So we went with a, a softer gray for the dry bar area. Tons of storage for all their um, wine glasses and all their chinaware with this cool reeded glass, which is a cool feature. And she went with uh, polished nickel hardware here. And then she was able to go with a different color gray for the coffee station and island, just to kind of give them a distinct look because we didn't want the coffee bar to, to feel like we just took an extra cabinet and shoved it up against a kitchen that we built 10 years ago. So we brought it away from the kitchen cabinets and we made a different color just to kind of set it apart. But then to tie it together with the kitchen, we painted the island the same color. And then just to kind of update it all, we went with a, a matte black finished uh, hardware, which is pretty cool.